out in front as Schenkel couldn't get a handle on the puck. They're trying to dig it loose. Stonehouse gets it back to the point. Muse played it across for Derek Smythe, but he had already vacated because he thought the Greyhounds were going to get the puck. Here's a chance. Dintino moves in. And there's a man it down in front of the bench, and he is not good. Trainer out there immediately, and a hit directly in and front. they need Medic right away. And they're, they need they're moving immediately. Not sure what exactly transpired, whether he caught an edge and went in heavy, whether it was a, a hit. But they're getting the Medics there on the ice immediately and I'm not even sure who it is at this point. I can't see what number it is either, Dan, but trainers and doctors out uh, right now with him. Bit of a scary scene here in front of the 67's bench. And they're rolling the player on his back right now and I can't, I can't tell from where I am. Ottawa player, Sioux player. It's uh, Luke Brustowski. Okay. Um, trainers and doctors talking to him right now. Everybody with a lot of concern on their faces. And you know that if they, uh, they're going to take every precaution to make sure that Luke Brustowski is okay. Uh, but uh, they are going to make sure that every step is taken to make to give Luke Brustowski the best possible care. Yeah, they're putting a uh, neck collar on him right now, just trying to stabilize the player and make sure he's okay. can see that everybody has concern, the players, the fans. Hoping that Luke uh, is okay. So the medical staff will take their time and ensure that he is being cared for in the best possible manner. Both the trainers were out on the ice immediately. Oh, and they called for the medics almost as soon as they, their feet hit the ice. Tough for everybody to kind of watch through this, just making sure that the player is, is okay. All of this occurred with just a minute and 18 seconds gone here in the second period. Ottawa scoring, or opening the scoring 19 seconds in with Brad Gardner's sixth of the season. We're gonna take a break and come back and uh, we'll uh, pray for the best for Luke Brustowski. Don't go anywhere, folks. Welcome back to the arena at TD Place as the medical staff continues to uh, take care of Luke Brustowski who went down directly in front of the 67's bench. And Brustowski just with the big thumbs up as they put him on the stretcher and they'll take him in to the dressing room areas and a great round of applause here from really knowledgeable hockey fans in the nation's capital. Well, it's good to see that he's given the thumbs up. You can see him moving his arms there. He's awake, which is great. And when he first went down, it was, it was uh, scary. You saw it briefly on the screen, uh, but good to see him with his eyes open and moving his arms. He's got the thumbs up there again. There he is. Yeah. Way to go, Luke. Godspeed, kid. So the medical staff 
and the paramedics will take him off the ice and uh, take care of him. But now tough for both teams, really. I mean, it, it's, it's so hard when you see an injury like that, try and regain your focus and get back to playing hockey. You see one of your your teammates, one of your best friends, and one of your soldiers going off like that. It's never easy to get going. And for the 67s as well, watching that right in front of their bench. And here's the hit that resulted just at the bottom of your screen here. Passes the puck, and he hits. It was, looked like Boucher made the hit there. Very innocent hit. You'll see nothing really. I think it was when he fell down, when he might have been when his head hit the ice. And that was the problem there. But a clean, clean hit after he passed the puck. He took the hit well. I think he just fell awkwardly. And that's what led to the, uh, to the incident on the ice. Head coach John Dean. You can see him there consoling. Uh, that is uh, Matthew Virgilio. Uh, you know, and it, it shakes guys up. I'm, I'm shaken up just having seen that. I mean, it's tough to get back to talking about hockey. Tough, we are back underway once again, and Mayich touches it up. And now we've got Tyler Boucher, who made the hit, and he, him and Ryan Thompson square off. Boucher took a big right hand there and gets a couple back. Good tilt between the two of them. And that's a situation in hockey where you got to go. Well, and I think there might have been some bad blood boiling over from the game in Sault Ste. Marie as well, but Thompson didn't matter. As they really just kind of bump fists right there as they go to the penalty box, two guys, willing combatants. And they get the job done. And into the penalty box they go. So Thompson and Boucher, Boucher waving to somebody in the crowd, but those fighting majors will force them to sit out for the next five minutes or so. And all of these penalties coming at the 139 mark of this second period. And a face-off comes outside the Ottawa 67 zone. 